Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded but I'm really hoping to upload more in 2023 and one of the things I wanted to do was kind of create more content that I enjoy doing so expect to see a lot more builds and I also wanted to do a legacy let's play for this channel. Now I haven't really played with a lot of the packs so I've been doing Not So Berry off camera and I've been really enjoying that. I think I'm on to like generation 5 or 6 which is amazing for me for gameplay and I've really been enjoying it so I wanted to kind of do another legacy challenge which I might do one that's out there in the future but for now I thought why not explore the packs myself, kind of get to know what I like playing, that kind of thing. So you'll see a little sneak peek in the top left corner and I've used James Turner's pack generator. I'll leave a link in the description box below and what I've done is generated one expansion pack, one game pack and one stuff pack as you can see here. So for this generation I got vampires, city living and kids room stuff which I'm kind of excited about because city living I've played quite a bit but vampires, like I've had a vampire, haven't really done it so I'm excited to get stuck into that. So this is the sim, I loaded into Kaz and it gave me this and I thought she was stunning. So I've UCC, give her a makeover, I actually did turn her into an adult when I started the game so yeah that's just her as a team but she basically looks exactly the same as an adult which is called Maeve Bright and the initial aspiration I picked is Master Vampire and we'll also work on that city living one as well but this gives her the quick learner trait and then her other traits are good, genius and we've also added um, family oriented as her adult trait. So I've picked this apartment in Samashino, I've given it a quick makeover, quite basic, she didn't really have that much money, um, but yeah, I'll include a few little screenshots of it now, so there's the bedroom, um, the spare bedroom that's quite basic, just a little office, the kitchen, and the bathroom. This video is kind of going to be a little introduction to Maeve and then kind of like a prequel background story because I did start playing with her and then I thought actually I want to record this for the channel so I've kind of included screenshots of what I've done so far up to the point that the let's play will start. Hopefully that makes sense. So I moved it into her apartment, she's kind of having this deep thoughts, who am I? She was quite self-centered before, all about the like social media, that kind of thing. So she's gone for a fresh start in San Machino. Obviously she has no skills or anything. This is kind of just like a little background story. Um, so yeah, so she's moved into this apartment and she thought, you know what, I, I want to learn more about vampires. So she set up on her laptop and then discovered the vampire secrets. So she was just do, kind of doing more research into them and trying to figure out if she thought they were real or not. Um, and yeah, she, I think her ultimate goal, she wants to become a vampire if she can. Um, so she unlocked a vampire tome. So she managed to purchase one and then she was reading about it and she... On her research she found some bar in um, a nearby town where it's meant supernatural people were meant to hang out so she headed over there after finishing her book um, and while she was there she was kind of scouting the room and then this guy caught her eye so she was kind of like oh I'm interested in him I'll go over and introduce myself and she's telling him oh I'm here for the vampires that, um, and he kind of laughed at her and said you know vampires aren't real so in the end she like had a big connection with him and said bye, said I might see you later, didn't notice this guy appear behind her and kind of when she was in the bar giving her number, um, she kind of, this guy was watching her and again before she left the bar she kind of could get the feeling that someone was watching her, she thought it was this guy but wasn't sure, uh, thought he was a bit dodgy, give off weird vibes. So then she went home and kind of just continued her research on vampires. And the next day, Tomax was actually in the neighborhood and asked, did we mind if he came over? I gave him a little bit of a makeover. So they came over and then he kind of was like, I feel a sexual tension building between us, want to release it. She was like, yeah, we can have a pillow fight. And kind of that was it. Um, and then yeah, before he left, they ended up having their first kiss, uh, which he kind of, 
looks a bit shocked about even though he just propositioned her <laughs> so yeah they kind of were spending more time hanging out together he asked her if they wanted to be best friends he asked if she would like to be his girlfriend and that's kind of where we were at so the we'll start off from there when I start the let's play and these are kind of the goals that I've set so the three packs I got so we've got city living so I want Maeve to live in all districts districts of San Machino. I think maybe afterwards we'll move out to another like world maybe when she's got kids is settling down but definitely while she's like a young adult adult I want her to live in all of the districts. I want her to complete the city native aspiration um, which will be like her secondary aspiration um, you are come on to that in a minute and then I want her to max a career from city living because I don't think I've ever maxed that um I think I've started her off in the politician career because I thought it would be quite nice for her to be a vampire and a charity fundraiser I thought that was kind of cool um and then the vampire pack so max a vampire law I haven't really explored the vampire pack so I don't know how hard this is going to be and to complete the the master vampire aspiration um Hopefully I can do it, I think so. And then kids room stuff, like obviously I'll use the stuff. I've used some bits in the apartment at the minute, but I think that'll come into it more when she has children. Um, so obviously use the items. And then when I was having a look, I think there's the void critters. I think there's 20 to collect. So as a household, we'll collect all of those. So those are the, the main goals for this generation and what i've done is i've actually rolled the packs for the next generation because i i thought i'm gonna have to kind of plan ahead for this or like know what i'm doing so the um the expansion pack was um cottage living the game pack was realm of magic and the stuff pack was nifty knitting stuff so that's going to be quite fun actually and as i was playing i've kind of realized that tomax was a spellcaster i think um, so I think that can play in quite well with the realm of magic obviously if they have a child um, if their relationship continues then there's a chance that the child might be a spellcaster and then I kind of like the idea of a spellcaster living um, like the cottage living nifty knitting lifestyle I think that's kind of cool so yeah while I'm playing I'm gonna bear those packs in mind just going forward I've installed quite a few mods I'm gonna do like a mod video in the future of like and I feel like the sims have a lot more autonomy like they choose what they want to do that kind of thing so I'm just gonna roll with it see what she wants to do um, and yeah just kind of hopefully that just follow her storyline so hopefully you like the sound of that I thought it's quite a relaxed way for me to kind of explore some of the packs that could do things that I wouldn't normally do um, and yeah I'm really enjoying the story so far of where it's gone and I can't wait to see it develop so the next episode will be like a let's play and um, this was kind of just the prequel as I said I'd kind of start to play with her before I thought actually I want to do this as a let's play and thank you for watching if you have any hints or tips for any of these packs like I said I haven't really done vampires at all please let me know in the comments below and it would really mean a lot if you could just give me a subscribe or a like. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.